Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a massive Friday today with La Liga Team of the Season here inside of FIFA 22, but it's a little bit different because we already know the team. We already know the players that are going to be in packs today. We know their exact stats, their exact ratings, positions. The only thing we don't know is some weak foot and skill move boosts. The cards are on Footbin. We'll talk about that here in a second. But also, we have the Team of the Season swap rewards dropping today, which is massive for all of you guys that have been grinding the tokens, collecting those, and you're ready to turn them in. We will be getting the rewards or uh, the way that you can turn those SBCs, that you can turn those tokens in for packs, for players, whatever you're going to turn it in for today is the day for those to be released. So we'll talk about that, how it's going to affect the market, and just what to expect today on the game since it's such a big Friday. Now, of course, the Bundesliga Tots cards are going out of packs today, but the Saudi League Tots players like Taliska and Romarino are staying in packs until Sunday. So don't make sure uh, you remember that if those are cards that you're very interested in holding on to or wanting for your team. But those are the biggest things coming today. A lot of League of Tots cards that look absolutely unbelievable and the Tots swaps being released, the rewards being released, along with the last five tokens or six tokens, I think, that they're going to be putting out. So we're going to talk about all of that in today's video and more. So if you're excited for La Liga Tots, make sure to thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's just start by taking a look at the team of the season that was tweeted out yesterday. Now we talked about in last night's video that we were going to be re get the getting the released team with the exact stats, face card stats, not in games, but it was going to be posted a day early and that it was. And a lot of the leaks that we saw were confirmed. Look at the juice on this team, 98 Benzema, 97 Modric, 96 Pedri, a 96 Vinny Jr. with upgraded stats from what we saw from the leaks earlier this week. Eder Militao looks absolutely phenomenal. There's only like two cards in this team that are actually considered fodder, right? Muniain and De Tomas are like kind of the worst cards in this team, and that's incredible. This team is cracked. Araujo, Acuna getting in at that left back spot over Jordi Alba. There were a few surprises to see get in here. I think Acuna was one of those. Canales is a right mid. I think we were hoping for a center mid card, but that still could be pretty good with a nice green link to Fakir, who is also in the team. Kunde looks absolutely unbelievable. Alaba looks cracked. Um, again, I think the, the three most hype cards for today, in my opinion, would be Vinny Jr., Modric, and, Ped and Pedri, and then depending on if they give Benzema the real juice, I think Benzema could be really, really insane as well. But you guys might be like, Nate, these cards are on Footbin, and they don't have any skill mover weak foot upgrades. It tells us right here what they're going to be. These are not confirmed. As you can see, there's no in-game stats. And the skill move weak foot stuff, that is just the same as it is on their gold item. These cards that you see on Footbin are just the stats and just the player and the design, right? It doesn't even have the dynamic image yet because we don't actually know what skill move or weak foot upgrades EA is going to be putting out for these cards just yet. We only know the stats. So that's one thing that I'll caution you with right now. There's more hype potentially coming today if they give Benzema a four-star weak foot, if they gave the uh, Vinicius Jr. the five-star weak foot as well, uh, five-star weak foot for, for, for Benzema or for Vinny Jr. And then some of the other cards that we're curious about, right? Like, is Pedri going to have five-star skills? Is Fakir going to have five-star skills? You know, all of that sort of stuff we'll be finding out today at the content drops when these cards actually released on the game. So this is the team. Once again, I know a lot of you guys have seen it. Uh, this is from tweeted from EA Sports. This is 100% legit, not leaked. This is like legit the team by EA Sports. Uh, and the only surprise we're going to have today is what the skill move and weak foot upgrades are on these cards. Now, also today, like you see in the FIFA menus under the news tab, when you log in and you're on the front screen of the game, it tells you here that these tokens are going to be exchanged for TOTS themed rewards starting from the 20th of May. And that's today, right? We are going to have the rewards for TOTS swaps out on the game today. For a lot of people, they're going to be taking that 84 times 25 pack, which is one of the rewards. Or some people will be going for Premier League TOTS guaranteed packs, Bundesliga or Premier League TOTS player pick, or just the Premier League TOTS player pick, which I believe is 19 tokens. And I want to show you guys um, the list of tokens that we have had so far as of right now and the rewards I'll show you both as of right now We have had 19 tokens the maximum number of tokens you could have is 19 So that means there are six 
to go, one of which will be in the store. I don't know when they're gonna release that store pack. If it is today, that could be very interesting for the market because that would be a pack that so many people would go out and buy with coins or with FIFA points, and that would bring a decent amount of supply on the market. Even, even if today, or as today being a Friday, a lot of lightning rounds, a lot of packs being opened, that could add another level of supply because everybody opens that token pack, not everybody, but a lot of people open that token pack to get that extra uh, token from the store. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. That's been something we've been watching for. So there's been 19 tokens fully released and the rewards, again, these are the rewards. 19 tokens get you that Prem Tots pick. Also today with content, I would imagine at least one or two more are gonna be dropped. So right now, if you have like 16 and you're like, man, I really wanna get that Prem Tots pick, then today you'll be able to get one or two more um, and you'll be like one or two away. And then, you know, if you're wanting to do like some combo, right, the 84 times 25 is 15 tokens. Let's say you wanted to do that and take a gamble on the guaranteed community tots pack. You might be able to do that uh, today as well. Or if you're going to do like the guaranteed prem tots pack or the prem or Bundesliga tots player pick, there's just so many great options that you can use your tokens for as a part of the tots swaps system. These are once again, the rewards and we should see them in the game today at 6 PM. That's going to be a really, really big part of the content today, right? Just imagine how hype it was, or just remember how hype it was on Winter Wild card Cards or Future Stars when they dropped these token, swap token rewards days on a, a promo Friday. It was always very, very exciting. And they're dropping all of that today with a really, really insane Tot Squad, right? As we talked about, it's just a huge Friday on the game for content in general because of all the cards that are coming out because of the packs that are gonna be opened, um, not necessarily like saved up packs for these TOTS cards, but more so the packs that are gonna be retained from the TOTS swaps. All the grind, the tokens you've collected over the past week and a half, two weeks or whatever it's been since these have been released. Uh, now you can actually get those turned in for something. Uh, and then of course, as you guys know, the TOTS rewards will be only out for this next week. So for this next seven days, you'll be able to collect the last few tokens and turn in your rewards. And then after that, it's done. And we're gonna have a TOTS swaps two coming pretty soon after that. That's just kind of something to watch out for and to know. So that's a really big part of the game today as well. What other content will we see, right? Cards and packs, we'll have the TOTS swaps rewards. We should see an SBC player or two today in the last couple of weeks they've started off with a flashback player sbc we don't have any leaks right now for a flashback player all we have are two team of the season players that could be dropping as sbcs today first off we'll talk about objectives since i clicked on it here jesus navas is one of the objective cards we should be getting today and the other one we think is going to be an objective this is not 100 percent confirmed it's still a leak not sure is ansu fati uh, stats are a prediction, but should be an objective released today. And that's, that is common, right? We've seen two objectives released on promo Fridays for the past couple of weeks. Last week with Bundesliga and Premier League, they did two. Uh, so I think that would continue again. So it looks like Fati and Jesus Navas might be our guys for that. Now, also we have a SBC. We have a couple SBCs that have been leaked. This is probably the one that I would imagine would be today, either Dan Juma or Iago Aspas. Those are the two SBC potential cards we could see dropped on the game today based off of leaks. If EA have some other sort of surprise up their sleeve, then so be it. That'd be a lot of fun and that'd be great. But as of right now, it looks like Dan Juma and Aspas would be the potential cards. A lot of left wings, if you think about it, right? We've got maybe a Dan Juma left wing. We've got an Ansu Fati left wing. Unless they change the position on a Dan Juma to like a striker, which would be pretty sick, that's a lot of left wings. And of course, you've got Vinny in the team. Going to be really, really expensive, but another left wing. So that's going to be all a part of the content today on this game. Now, also, it sounds like they might be doing something with foot draft, um, which needed to happen because foot draft is probably one of the most dead modes in the game at the moment. During La Liga Tots, this is a leak from Foot Sheriff. He says, we will have Tots 93 plus players and moments available in draft. And whenever this is tweeted out, you know, this is probably going to be something where EA tried to get us to go and play foot draft. And we had this a couple times earlier this year. If you guys remember, like, I think it was during the showdown promo, they gave us extra rewards uh, through objectives to go and play foot draft. And whenever they do that, they boost 
the like weight and they boost the players that you get in draft to make it actually fun and it's not getting gold cards or like informs they actually give you like really really insane teams so if you've got a bunch of draft tokens like i have seven of them i've played like three games of draft this entire year it just hasn't been worth the grind this year for the rewards because of rivals uh champs qualifiers and champs finals um you know, this may be a time where it actually does pay out, especially if they do end up changing the draft rewards. I wouldn't expect that, but that's just something to kind of keep on your radar if something uh, really interests you from draft, or maybe if EA really juice up draft and make it pretty sick, who knows? But there's some, there seems to be some sort of change happening there with that on the game today. Now, I want to talk about packs. I want to talk about market as well for the second half of this video, because since today is such a hype day, and a lot of people do have saved up packs, not as many as Premier League or Community Team this season, but I know there's a decent amount of saved up packs. How is the market going to be affected today on Friday with the release of these cards and packs? Now, one thing that we absolutely know is the specific league packs, like you see this one here, the special Bundesliga Foundation pack, all of the crazy 35% and 25% TOTS weight packs from the Bundesliga from this last week are added in for La Liga team of the season. Now, there's a couple caveats this, a couple things that are going to be different. There are a lot more rare golds and especially a lot more fodder golds that are La Liga than there are Bundesliga. So these packs that have been added to the code, and this is just one that I want to show you. This is very similar to the one that we saw last week, right? The 84 plus star duo La Liga pack contains nine gold rare players. Oh, just kidding. Uh, yeah, contains nine gold rare players from La Liga with two guaranteed to be 84 or, or higher. It looks like it used to be 12 and then they changed it. So it's only nine players, then it's 84 or higher. I think the pack weight's not going to look as crazy insane today for La Liga as it did from Bundesliga in these like league specific packs, just because there's more gold rares that are in that higher bracket, higher rating in La Liga than there is in the Bundesliga. So that's just kind of something to think about. And also with this team being so cracked, like market wise today, since there's not a ton of saved up packs, I think they're going to start off kind of expensive. Like we saw last week with Bundesliga, a couple first hour fluctuations might be possible, especially with some of the rare ones. If you guys remember last week, like Kimmich went from 900K up to 1.2 mil. Verts, I bought it like, uh, what was it? Like 580 and he went, I don't even know. It was like, he went up like almost 100,000 coins. He went stupid high in the second hour. Some of these cards could start off a little bit rare today because a lot of the packs that people are going to be opening from tot swaps, from the saved up packs, like I have the 81 times 11 La Liga, a lot of those are going to be untradeable, which is really just going to stock people's clubs with fodder um, and not in, and maybe some of these team of the season cards. But it's, it's going to take something really, really crazy today from EA to make these tots cards really, really cheap. I, I just don't think that anybody in this team, you know, when you look at Fakir and Kunde and Araujo and these guys that are um, going to get released on the game today with Tots cards, I just don't see a way where they're going to be super duper cheap unless EA do something absolutely wild. This is not like Prem Tots where so many people have saved up packs and they've been saving packs for weeks to open and pack blues. Uh, yeah, there's a few saved up packs, but like I said, a lot of them are untradeable. Maybe some champs rewards in there, maybe some tradable rivals rewards or like marquee matchups packs. Um, but I think EA is going to have to either increase the pack weight by incredible amounts today to make these cards be really, really cheap. Um, or they're going to have to drop preview packs, which have, we have we have not seen preview packs in forever, just besides the 7.5K. So I wouldn't really expect that. But since that's the case, you know, I know this team looks really, really cracked. And because of this, you've seen some of the market drop off. Uh, some of the TOTS cards that were really high yesterday, like uh, TOTS Kimmich was 900,000 coins. And after all of the release of these brand new cards coming out for La Liga, he's dropped down into the 800K range. Of course, you have your cards like Taliska and uh, Romarinho, Romarinho, who are going... Uh, to be in packs today, these guys have dropped down a lot. This is mostly just panic selling um, and, and not too much else other than that. It's mostly just panic selling as people are worried about them getting packed today. They're still going to fluctuate. They're really, really rare cards, still really good. But I really think the like the out of packs market today, like let's say you have some Prem Tots cards in your team or the Bundesliga Tots cards. I think you're going to see a little bit of panic selling in that first hour, like Sonaldo is even down like 20 or 30K. 
I think you're going to see a little bit of panic selling on the out of packs market in the first hour today, maybe the second hour as well. Kind of like we saw during Bundesliga, or sorry, during Premier League and Community Tots. And the reason why I think you might see that is because everybody's going to be worried about those swap tokens and getting their swap tokens packs or looking at the brand new Tots cards when they drop on the game. This team has so much hype and the players are so good that people might just sell some cards from their team to go out and try some of the brand new cards. That's just kind of how the way it might look today with these cards being that cracked. Now, what would make the market drop a lot, like I said, is if EA find a way to make these La Liga Tots cards really, really cheap. I just don't see how that's going to happen. Um, but if they find a way to do that, and if these cards come on the market and they're super duper cheap, then that is really going to make a lot of the market drop off. But if they're not super cheap and they're kind of expensive, then the rest of the market might dip a little, but then kind of maintain its prices throughout the weekend. Um, and then we'll kind of just have to go from there. But that's kind of the scenario for today. I mean, realistically, we have a Tots Vinny Jr. today that should be 4 million coins plus. I mean, we've got a Modric card that's probably going to start over a million coins today. I mean, looking at this team in general, we might have five cards that are more than a million coins today. Benzema, Modric, Pedri, Vinny, and Militao, I think could be around that 1 million coin range, if not even a little bit over, depending upon some work rate, skill move, weak foot boost and stuff like that. So it's probably going to be more of an expensive day. Some of the lower tier cards like Araujo, Acuna, Canales, you know, those guys might be a little bit cheaper, um, but we're just going to have to see, right? And that's going to really set the tone for the market today. Now, I will say one thing. Remember what happened to the Bundesliga Tots cards on Friday night. On Friday night, if you remember, what happened was these cards with the late night lightning rounds, the, the 84 plus star pack, the 83 plus duo that were the league specific ones, these cards got destroyed on that Friday night. Kimmich was down to like 600K. Yeah, sa Saturday, even it shows you, he was like 600K flat. And then he really went up after that. And he's gone even up in even more into the week as the content's just been pretty quiet. The content doesn't look like it's going to be that quiet because this team looks cracked the La Liga team that is. So all I'm saying is just watch these cards in the late night, Friday night timeframe. We'll talk about this on the video tomorrow night is looking how low these cards drop after all that late night pack supply as people try them out when the weekend league starts and then go and sell them after trying them out for a few games. You have the combination of that and those league specific lightning rounds running at nighttime that might hurt some of these cards prices and make them really tradable, like flippable, um, and then as people wake up on Saturday, they go out and they try them and they buy them to play weekend league with, because there's going to be a lot of demand for weekend league when you have these sorts of cards in your weekend league rewards. So just kind of keep that in mind. Probably the prices are going to start pretty high and I would assume they would fall down pretty greatly into the evening to nighttime hours. That's something that's pretty common on Fridays anyway. Um, but we'll have to see if EA do anything crazy with pack supply or, preview packs or anything like that today with La Liga team of the season. Let's talk fodder really, really quick because a lot of people are going to be getting fodder today via the 84 times 25. I honestly think that a lot of people are going to take this 15 token pack from the rewards, seeing how insane uh, this team is going to be in packs today. Fodder right now is still up, but it's starting to drop as people are selling their investments off, selling the cards that they have bought and the demand lessens as we head into a promo Friday with a lot of packs being open. The normal weekly trend has been these cards get low on Friday nights, Saturdays and Sundays, and then they start to go up during the week. Definitely watch these cards today. They might not drop a lot until those later hours though, because again, like I said, if you're opening an 84 times 25 today, you're gonna be able to go out and do an icon upgrade SBC, right? We have the 92 plus moments pack, that people love to do, even though it's not a player pick, people still love to do an SBC like this. And it's been repeatable two times. So if you've only done it once, people are going to go ahead and do it again. And since we have this SBC out, we've got still a lot of other cards. Um, you know, uh, I think like Deli Ali and Foden and some of those Cristiano Ronaldo player of the month. If you haven't finished that one, Deli Ali expires today, I guess. So he's like one of the last ones from, uh, Prem Tots that is still available. Um, but then you still have a couple other SBCs, but most specifically the 92 plus moments upgrade since it's repeatable twice. I don't think you're going to see fodder just get like destroyed and priced right away. 
um, unless EA do something crazy again, I think it would maybe drop a little bit, maybe have a slight rebound and then drop off later in the nighttime as those lightning rounds are open and as it gets late at night and some of that SBC demand kind of ends. So that's just kind of my thoughts and my thinking right now with the fodder um, on the market today. But really, you guys know, the hype is with these cards right here just because this team looks so freaking good and ggs to ea sports they're really going all out with this and i'm a fan of it the real surprise to today though is going to be are the weak foot upgrades good are the skill move upgrades good on some of these cards do they maintain that or do they not that's going to be the big question now if you have some la liga cards let's say you bought some some out of packs cards you can see i'm trading with some stuff at the moment but i have some of these vinnie juniors right um, a lot of your out of packs La Liga cards have risen really nicely. Uh, Vinny was over 800k. He's now just slightly under at the moment. Uh, I think I have a Busquets here, right? I bought Busquets for 140 and he's like almost 200,000 coins or he is 200k. Some of the lower tier cards, um, you know, like this Berchiche, I'm thinking about selling him off. I got him at 26,000 coins and he is, I believe, approaching like 40k some of these cards if you want to take the easy cash we talked about it in last night's video too you can go ahead and do that um as the la liga hype does build i think that some of these cards are very invested in the ones that are not as rare um and they're just not as hype that could be over invested i think are the lower tier ones um and so just kind of just be careful with your with investing and, and holding on to any of these la liga out of pack special cards today um or any sort of la liga link that you maybe have invested in unless it's really rare i think the rare cards like the vinny that i was talking about like i bought milito's at 300k he's up almost 100,000 coins um and i know we're getting joao felix who's cracked but this guy gets green links to everybody in uh la liga and he's really really good and really rare so i'm gonna hold on to some of my out of pack stuff but i'm also gonna sell some of the other stuff here probably this morning on friday just to take the easy cash on that one so that's kind of how i feel about the market today again it's just it's going to be an insane day of fifa it's going to be a very hype day because of how good these cards look and we'll see what happens after the content drop if they're super cheap if they're kind of expensive i think i'm going to err on the side of expecting them to be pretty expensive um but still there's a lot of people that are going to want to get their hands on those cards today or open packs just because they look absolutely incredible so if you're hyped once again for la liga team of the season hit the thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's a hype day on fifa and it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace